Bank. Texas lawmakers are doing more than just trying to pass bills in these last days of the session. Today they called DPS leaders to the Capitol to testify about the video Sandra Bland recorded of her arrest nearly four years ago. Her family says they have not seen this video before now. Political reporter Ashley Godot was in the hearing for some testy moments. You just open my car door, you so you're, gonna, you're threatening to drag me out of my own car. The viewpoint of a controversial arrest some never knew existed until two weeks ago when we showed you this story. If they had turned it over, I would have seen it, Brian. I'm not seeing that. The attorney for Sandra Bland's family, her sisters, watching the video she recorded, they say, for the first time, Friday at the Texas Capitol. After her, her death, we were trying to figure out what happened that day that made this officer do what he did to, to bring her into custody. Uh, and I think if we had seen that video, the public might have a different perspective on things. State lawmakers question DPS leaders about the video as Bland's but mother sits quietly listening heard, as they ask why they never saw it and why the attorney says he never received it. I know that all of the data from the cell phone was delivered to him. Here's the timeline DPS laid out. Bland's phone was taken during her arrest and DPS got a search warrant. Investigators got her video back in September 2015. They say all the data from her phone was delivered to the family attorney sent from Waller County on October 30th. Nearly two years later, DPS finished its investigation and gave the phone back to Bland's mother. In September 2017, DPS released the video to KXAN. They never aired it. In May 2019, a Tegna station obtained the video and shared it. So I'm asking a direct question, Mr. and Chairman, I want a yes or no answer. Was the video in that disk of information you I, sent to I, I don't know that it wasn't. Representative Garnett Coleman has been investigating Bland's death for years and as a lawmaker has access to classified information. He says DPS gave him the Ranger report, but it was a data dump that he and his staff couldn't understand. And a description of Bland's video in the report wasn't clear. If Sir, for some reason you didn't get it, I apologize for that. Well, you can apologize. Well, apologize but... that you didn't understand it because you did get it. What? Yes, you got it. What? Since this happened to a lawmaker, Coleman and his colleagues question if the family attorney knew Waller County gave him the video. That question not answered. We're going to have another hearing. Now I know we have to. But the search for truth not over. Now, an hour ago, we received an email from DPS. It includes a chain of emails with Representative Coleman's chief of staff offering to give him the evidence and exhibits that they had that included videos, but his staff declined to take it. Tonight at 10 on KVU News, we'll have an exclusive interview with Bland's mother.